Murder, attempted murder, racketeering, all of those crimes are included in a string of indictments unsealed today in Baltimore City. Thanks for staying with us for 11 News at 6. If 14 people are named in the indictments, all of them connected to Baltimore's notorious black guerrilla family gang. 11 News IT reporter Barry Sims live at the federal courthouse downtown with tonight's big story. Barry. Well, Jason and Kate, 47 year old Timothy Michael Gray is one of the people indicted. Prosecutors allege he is the citywide leader of the black guerrilla family. Investigators tell us that he was arrested today in North Carolina. They were accused of conducting organized criminal activity from 2012 until now in West Baltimore. 14 alleged members of the Black Guerrilla family are charged in connection with drug dealing and extortion. Some, according to federal prosecutors, are believed responsible for two murders, two attempted murders, and three drug overdose deaths. It's one of our most significant gang challenges uh, in Baltimore and throughout the state of Maryland. The nine-count indictment lists 47-year-old Timothy Michael Gray, also known as Uncle Mike, as the alleged leader of the BGF in Baltimore City. 14 may not seem a lot to you, but uh, many times within the crimes and violence within our city, it is a small number of people who are responsible for that violence, and they do it time and time again. Cutting off the head is a big step for us. The others indicted range in age from 20 to 50 years old. The FBI used wiretaps and other investigative techniques to focus on the distribution of heroin, cocaine, crack, and oxycodone, along with other alleged gang activity in the area of Pratt and Payson Streets. The indictment also alleges that Baltimore and Catherine Streets, a BGF controlled drug shop, was in operation. And on Lemon Street, heroin was being sold. And this house in 1928 Lemon was used by BGF gang members to conduct drug and gang activity. Members of this gang are seemingly relentless, but today we've proven so are we. And the feds again stated their commitment to fighting crime in Baltimore, saying they, along with city leaders, are determined to make sure the recent spike in violence doesn't become a trend. It's critical for us to intervene in these gang disputes in order to take the perpetrators off the streets and eliminate the opportunities for retaliation that fuel some of the increasing violence that we've seen over the past six weeks. And the feds tell us seven of the 14 people indicted are now in custody. Reporting live from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.